operandi, the feature, because this is a, a feature script, was born out of my love of the great city of San Francisco, which is one gigantic film set, and my love of murder mysteries, Agatha Christie, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and I thought I, I could tell a pretty good story. I came up with these characters and the various scenarios they all find themselves in, and the rest, as they say, is uh, history. <laughs> Some backward polluted waters have over a thousand unsuspecting tales to bear. I'll be sad. I find his writing so rich. I think he's got a lot in common with Nell Card. It's succinct and pithy and uh, stimulating if you like good English. And it's kind of hard sometimes. It's almost like a log line, you know, it's like one sentence to capture, you know, 120 pages. Creating a short film version of Modus Operandi, which touched upon key moments in the feature script. I would have done just that years ago, but of course one has to have the financing to do it really beautifully, to do it the way that I want to do it. So many of the people I've had the privilege of working with on this project and who are also on board for the, the feature film project, it's all been through word of mouth, and I met Reynaldo through Doug, and I met Francisco through Reynaldo. Man, this is playing out like some eccentric, twisted movie of the week. We met through a mutual friend. He gave me the screenplay. I loved it. I loved the characters, especially mine, Inspector Sanchez. At first I was like, oh man, that sounds crazy. I don't know. But then when I read the story and I found the heart of uh, Parker and the challenges that it would require, I was very excited. In a way, it opens up this can of worms in me where I start thinking and unraveling who I can be with the Roman. I think she's very rigid in her concepts, probably through her upbringing and obviously it's come through the script. She hasn't got a great sensitivity for other human being. As we were heading towards production, and it became weeks, then days, then hours, it was all about communication. James and I had a pretty extensive prep. We would talk about the shots that he was envisioning, and I would put in my two cents and say, yeah, that's, that's an awesome shot, or what if we were to combine these two shots, and then, you know, and we would make this amazing shot. We really went through the script with a fine-tooth comb. Being, you know, a horror genre, things definitely needed to stay in the dark world, blacks, grays, browns. I like to use a lot of texture just to bring the dark colors, make them pop a little bit more without everything being so flat. I think we got a lot of production value in for what we did and uh, you got good exteriors, you got good interiors uh, because of the location and a previous working relationship with that studio, we were able to get a lot of extra things that we wouldn't have been able to get anywhere else. And with the time constraints we had, I think what we did was fantastic. We had a great team. The short film, Modus Operandi, and the final version of the script will be the calling card, which will translate into production of the feature-length script. And I have these wonderful actors attached. Uh, I have some other very creative people attached. And so the short film serves as sort of a tease to entice other creative individuals and individuals in the position to finance the film, to come on board and join the party. Um, I feel very, very blessed to, um, to play him, to play Parker, to, to play a part like that and, and, and excited to see how it comes out. It definitely set up the bar pretty high, you know, to work, to work like this today and, and I hope I get lucky to do more of these projects if not, and with the same people. Thanks guys, it was so much fun. I had a lot of fun on this shoot, so thank you. Thanks to James and thanks to, it, it was great. The food was excellent. I hope nothing but the best for James and that he can continue in the business and uh, he's a class act, stand-up guy. It was a great, cast and crew and one of the the best parts the one of the reasons why I love filmmaking besides the creative and the artistic side is that you get to collaborate with really fantastic and, 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 and creative people and that's what working on this short was. Well I really look forward to 
being able to see the full finished edited production. I'm so proud of James and I know we're gonna make a really great film together. Are you still writing it or have you got a final draft? I have a final draft and I am still writing it. Is that a sign? 